Patient Reported Adverse Events After Colonoscopy in Norway. Introduction. Worldwide, there is great variation in the regulations and facilitation for quality assurance in gastrointestinal endoscopy, implementation of colorectal cancer screening programs in many countries, and the implications of poor adenoma detection rates for future cancer risk have highlighted the need for rigorous quality assurance of colonoscopy. This includes registration of complications. Patient-reported outcome measures are an emerging field in medicine and healthcare, and are recommended by many organizations and policymakers. To get a full picture of colonoscopy-related adverse events occurring after the patient has left the endoscopy department, the European Union EU, Guidelines for Quality Assurance in Colorectal Cancer Screening and Diagnosis from 2011 recommend, quote, contacting all patients within a defined time frame, unquote, and, quote, it is essential to obtain patient feedback on a regular basis, unquote. Still, many consider this unfeasible and continuous registration of adverse events is often restricted to events occurring before the patient has left the premises. Retrospective reviews of hospital records and register linkage are likely to miss detection of many less severe adverse events. Patient feedback after colonoscopy has been a cornerstone of the Norwegian National Quality Register, Gastronet, although not specifically designed for the registration of post-colonoscopy adverse events beyond 24 hours. The present study explores the potential for using patients' free text comments in Gastronet reports to extract information on adverse events after colonoscopy, as this paper-based patient's reporting form has been proven feasible to use in routine clinics in Norway. Free text comments from patients were scrutinized to search for adverse events which were not captured in the colonoscopy form that was filled in by a nurse or doctor while the patient was still on the premises of the endoscopy center. Background and study aims. Patient-reported outcome measures are increasingly important in healthcare. European guidelines have recommended inclusion of patient feedback to capture adverse events due to colonoscopy, but this is rarely implemented. Patients and methods. The Norwegian Quality Assurance Network for Endoscopy, Gastronet, collects patient-reported outcome for colonoscopies. Free text comments on patient reports from January to December 2015 were characterized as positive or negative. All negative free text comments were scrutinized for information that might suggest colonoscopy-related adverse events. Gear et al. identified severe adverse events with and without admission to hospital. Results. Gear et al. included 16,552 outpatient colonoscopies performed at 21 hospitals. A total of 11,248 procedures, 68%, were accompanied by a patient feedback report, of which 2,628, 23%, had free text comments. 2,196, 20%, characterized as positive, and 432, 3.8%, as negative. These negative free texts on patient reports revealed 15 post-colonoscopy hospital admissions due to adverse events that had not been registered in the colonoscopy report. This increased the number of hospital admissions caused by adverse events from 3, 0.03%, to 18, 0.16%. In addition, there were 14 patient reports of severe events without hospital admission. Therefore, a total of 29 severe adverse events reported by patients were missed by conventional documentation in the colonoscopy form. Conclusion. It is feasible to implement patient feedback as routine reporting to capture the full picture of colonoscopy-related adverse events. Some patients experience significant complications that are not recorded through any registries. Patient feedback forms should be tailored to capture adverse events after colonoscopy that are otherwise not easily disclosed.